Jibbly Jibbly. Hello and welcome back. Uh, today we are finally going to be doing some little bits and bobs to V, the project car, the Project 940, the saloon that we eventually plan to sell. There are quite a few bits that we've been wanting to do to it. We haven't had time to do much to it at the moment. Um, we've been waiting on parts and things like that. One of the main things that we need to do is all new pads and discs all the way around. The brakes on it are knackered. Uh, you put you, well, you put your foot on the pedal and it literally just goes and the car just keeps going. So we're going to do all new pads and discs, which is absolutely fine because obviously I've done that on this car before. Hopefully there won't be many dramas. Hopefully there won't be many dramas. I've said that now, so there's going to be, but hopefully there's not too many dramas. This should be a nice day because I've done it before. The sun is out. Good times. Bits are being done. So she's in the air. Both wheels are off. It is exactly the same as mine, which was there was two bolts holding the caliper on and then there's two 10mm hex bolts holding the carrier. You can see how crusty and minging everything is. Hopefully it will be an easy job. Bits. For well, today, I am the teacher and Hi. You are my little bitch. And I'm just basically just going to be like, yeah, yeah, do that sound. And then I'm just going to scram these brownies in here. So to be fair, I've got a well easy day. And whoever's going to moan at me for eating a brownie with dirty hands, grow up. Germs are good for you. Right, all four bolts are out. So two 12 mils at the top of here and then the two hexes at the bottom. That top one here was a pain in the ass with a lot of sulking from me Sorry. by sulking i mean just sitting here with a face like a smacked ass that's bad that is absolutely well that's what i like to call shag. shagged we just need to push this piston back hopefully it just pushes back quite easy minded but oh no the front's where right pain in the ass let's get a clamp on it but right. you're a big strong man <laughs> and you might be able to do it darling that's disgusting 28 years of dirt and rust Right. Ah. I don't know how I'm going to get this off, you need to do this, I'm too weak. Current situation, that brake disc is not coming off. Don't even want to talk about it, it's pissing me off. I managed to get this one off on this side. It's just so annoying, I'm in a foul mood, I can't be arsed. I wish I was into horses still and not this. I'm trying to persevere with that side, I'm going to fix this side up. So, put the new disc on and then put the new pads in, in the caliper and stuff. And if it isn't like Deja or fucking Vu, they don't, the pads don't fit. So last time I had the problem, my rear pads were the wrong ones after I'd done it all. And this is the same problem. That's one that's come out. That's one that Euro car parts have said apparently fits. What a surprise, it doesn't. We now can't do it for the rest of today because it's Sunday and Euro car parts isn't open to swap them. So I'm probably going to go and kill myself and that's that. Hello, welcome back. You joined me with a little less anger and a little less eyelashes, so I probably look like a naked mole rat, but that's fine. Today you join me as I go and swap the parts that your car parts gave us the wrong ones of. They are over in V, which is at my sister's, so I will show you the state that the car is in and what we need to continue to fix. And if I'm in a good enough mood and it doesn't rain, I love how everything revolves around my mood. If I'm in a bad mood, that it's game over, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I'm such a mardy cow. But anyway, if I'm feeling it, then we'll see if we can get the front finished. Maybe even the back, I don't know. It depends what the weather says, to be honest. Here is the current state. So this disc is completely stuck on. Um, we're not quite sure how we're gonna do that. We're probably gonna try heating it and giving it a good bash. If not, we're literally just gonna cut it off which is pissing me off at the thought. This side, um, we've got the new disc on. Um, we just need to get the new pads. But yes, as soon as we've got those new pads, we can put the new pads in there, build this one back up, then this side is done, thank God. We've got the right bits, we've got the right brake pads, we've got the right oil filter. I've got a toffee crisp, so I'm absolutely buzzing. I've got to do some bits. Big up, these ones fit. So that means I'm going to stop crying now and I'm going to get my copper grease. I'm going to copper grease those pads and put them back in there. I like it when things go right. 
pistons up front are so hard to push back with just your hands. The back ones are mine were all right, I could literally just do that with a screwdriver, but these are well stiff, so I've just got a G-clamp on it. I'm just gonna clamp that back, slot those new pads in, slot that onto the disc, and then this side can have the wheel put back on then, and then I'm gonna be happy. So, while I am just losing bolt, where the fuck have I put that? Yeah, while I am just bolting this caliper bracket back on, um, I'm just going to address what everybody keeps saying about this car. Now, I've had, well, if I had a pound for every time that somebody said to me, keep this car and get rid of your estate, I would have many big turbos by now. However, um, that is not going to be happening. I am not getting rid of my estate. I know that this car is super clean and I can see why people would say, oh, you know, keep this and get rid of your estate because yes, my estate is a bit of a shed, but like, I have put so much time and effort into that estate now, it would be stupid for me to get rid of it. Um, I've always wanted an estate. I've got a thing for estate cars. I love them. I don't care what it is. If it's an estate, I like it. Obviously, it's practical. It's perfect for what I want it for. And it's just what I've always wanted. I do like saloons, don't get me wrong. I think they're mint. But the estate is more what I want. And secondly, yes, Vera is a shed. But Vera has a lot more wrong with her. And that is a good thing because it means I can make more content with her. Vera's got the engine that I want, turbo engine. Everyone's saying, oh, put the engine in this. Like, yeah, that would be cool, but I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. And obviously this car, I would also love to keep. Like, this car is the perfect daily. However, I just can't afford to run three cars. That's why I'm keeping my estate. Stop telling me to sell it. I know she's a piece of shit, but she's my piece of shit, all right? Oh, things that we do just love to see. Thank you very much. So, right, that's our side done. So, new pads are in, calipers back on, and the new disc is on. The only problem we're facing still is this, which will not come off at all. So the only other two options we've got is to heat it and hope that, you know, releases where it's seized on, or um, cut it. I don't really want to cut it because, I don't know, I just, Fact that it's just a bit sketchy in it right i'm starting on the rear so it looks pretty much the same as my 940 obviously basically just two pins that you're not through and then the pads come out but obviously we're taking the whole caliper off because we're putting a new disc on and it's just two bolts behind the back of here now i can remember last time this bottom bolt was so annoying to get to because my ratchet wouldn't fit in and i basically had to push a load of extensions through there through the spring so i had enough room to get it on which was just ridiculous but hopefully um, this one won't be as bad. Hello, I don't know how well you can see me, but it's a couple of hours after. Obviously, it's dark now because it's winter and winter is wank. But we have a new issue. Now, I will turn my flash on and move my toffee crisps out of the way. So, so here we have the caliper carrier off the front driver's side, which has been the side that has been an absolute pain in the arse on that car. So this was the same side with the C's brake disc. Um, the other side, the passenger side, was absolutely fine, like no dramas at all. Um, but these have seized now, if you can see. So these are supposed to push in, um, so that pushes back to there, and that is basically what you slide the top of the caliper. We slide, basically slide the caliper over that and then you bolt it through there. Now this is completely seized, it's not moving at all. We have managed to get that bottom one to move a little bit with a clamp which was enough to get the caliper over however this is the bottom one and this one is just not moving at all um, I don't know what the hell has gone wrong with it you can literally feel all the rust and crust in there I've tried getting see if you can get new ones of these and it seems to be borderline impossible to find new ones um, and to be fair I'm on a bit of a short time scale because the car needs to be moved in a couple of days so basically this is the new problem now and it's so frustrating because i spent all that time getting that bloody seized disc off by hammering it with a lump hammer and um, finally got it off and thought oh thank god for that we, we can crack on now but no uh, we found another hurdle that was literally the final bolt as well after that we would have literally been done um well done on the front anyway and i was like gas thank god for that it's over with can forget about it 
But no. That's the new issue that we've got to solve. Um, basically, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a blowtorch on it tomorrow. Hopefully, that will release it enough for me to just knock it back a little bit and then we can get that front caliper on. Not going to lie, this car has been a bit of a pain to work on so far. It's just a lot of seized and seized bolts, basically, which is just not what you want. But it is also to be expected. So I don't know why I moan about it. I signed up for this life. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Emily Won't Finish This Car Today. <laughs> so I'll explain a little bit better what's wrong with this. So basically that fits on there like that. Obviously the caliper sits where my hand is. These need to be pushed in so that the caliper can fit over there and bolt in through there. And obviously that one's been pushed in, that one hasn't. Then on the rear, this bottom 30mm, which is right at the back, just there. I don't know if you can see, probably not. That one there is a pain in the ass to get to. We have been and purchased the Holy Grail, which is the Halfords Advanced Socket Set. So I've just cut the rubber boot off of that little joint and the state of that in there is disgusting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, cause obviously this needs to push back in there. We're gonna give that a good clean and hopefully that might make it a little bit easier to move. So that's still not moving. And that's just rounding off with the spanner, so they both get a blowtorch to them. Fuck this. So I think the last clip was me saying that's getting blowtorched, that's getting blowtorched. So this I was explaining yesterday is causing us problems because that was seized. I did actually get managed to get that to move down and it does fit now. The thread in there is absolutely knackered, so you can't actually bolt it through, which is just a pain in the ass. I'm done with that, so I've actually managed to find a new one. Um, which we will be getting our hands on to finish that front. And the back, not so fortunate. So that is causing me so much aggro, it's not coming off. I'm not even going to go into the words that I've used to describe it so far. It is awful. It is completely stuck on. I could, we've tried everything, it's not coming off. We want to get the car gone ASAP. So the discs that are on it, yeah, they look a bit crusty, but they do have st still have meat on them. So what we've done is we've just put the new pads in and then the car will be sold with new discs. We don't have the time or the resources to get this off. This needs properly sorted out. The car will be sold with new rear discs, obviously, which we were going to put on. We can't put them on. Um, it has got new pads in, which we'll get it through an MOT because the pads on it were absolutely shagged. So don't hate me. Everybody's gonna be like, oh my god. Like I have spent four days trying to get that bolt off. And when I that's not an exaggeration. I have been on the verge of tears multiple times. I'm not doing it anymore. So we've done what we can. We're gonna do the other side. We'll pick that new part, well the new bracket up for that probably tomorrow. Get that on and it's done. And then I've been stressing so much. How horrible have I been? So horrible. I've been horrible. I hate it when you try and do a job that should, this job should have taken a day, not even that, a few, couple, couple of hours, and it's taken a week. Oh. So don't come at me saying, oh, you're not doing that right, you should just do this. Yeah, everyone's saying, oh, just, why are you not using a socket, why are you using a spanner? Because you can't get a socket in there. Like, there is not enough room for the socket to even go onto the bolt. Um, and on my stay, it was the same, but this was a bit lower down and I could get a socket on and then a load of extensions through the spring and crack it like that but probably not the way you're supposed to do it but that's the way that I did it on my estate you can't do that here because that is sat right there so spanners are just rounding it sick of hearing it <laughs> bye uh, it's finally finally done we've had to have a new carrier that's fine I can now put this wheel on and this car can move after two weeks buzzing all the brakes are sorted then we've just got a service there get two new tires and she's done and then she's going up for sale so i'm super excited i think i'm at the point now where yeah this car just needs to be gone now like it's just taking up room it's taking up time it's taking up money so the sooner we get this car gone the better because my vera needs to come off the road soon we're making progress finally so yeah next few videos will probably be cleaning uh, we've done already done inside we just need to do the engine bay then servicing and then yeah we'll probably do like a little review of the car maybe um to put up with the advert and that's that but, yeah it's been a roller coaster it's been emotional don't ever ask me to change the brakes on one of these again well yeah yeah i'll change the brakes on one because it's 
piss easy, but don't ever ask me to change one that's got rusty bolts. Peace.